Hey guys, I've been thinking about you today a lot in our community as our church because of a verse that David shared this weekend. He, he shared Romans 12, 10 as support about why we honor each other in the midst of a culture who's so divisive. And um, man, the, these verses have stuck out a ton because I've been thinking about you all week because of it. So here's the verses, uh, Romans 12, 9 through 13. This video is gonna be a little different. I wanna talk about these verses and how they remind me of you. And so you pull out your Bible, pull out your phone, if, uh, if you're not right now watching this video and look at these verses, um, this is what it says. Paul is talking about Romans 12 in the first couple of verses, a pretty famous chapter, often quoted in Christian culture and, and, and in sermons. And what he says is, let our bodies be a living sacrifice for Christ. And then in the next verses, he talks about how we not only individually do that, but we are different from each other. And so we combine together into one family with multiple gifts. And you all have a gift that's different than mine, it's different from each other, but we all come together to create one family, one body, to reach the world for Jesus. And then the next section in Romans 12, 9 through 13, there's some really, really profoundly um, things said about the true marks of a Christian and what makes a Christian community. So um, here's verse nine, let me read it for us. Let love be genuine, abhor or hate what is evil and cling or hold fast to what is good. Love one another with brotherly affection. Outdo one another in showing honor. Do not be slothful in your zeal, but be fervent in spirit and serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope. Be patient in tribulation. Be constant in prayer and contribute to the needs of the saints, especially, and seek to show hospitality. And you guys, when I look at those verses, when I hear those verses, I'm reminded, um, these are unique verses that remind me that we are these types of people, like you, LCBC, we are a community that demonstrates these things. When, when I think about letting our love be genuine, it makes me think as we go into the holiday season, I'm not gonna say the C word yet because Christmas is coming, but we're not talking about it yet. When we think about be rich and how we invite friends to meet Jesus at Christmas, you guys have a genuine love that demonstrates through the millions of dollars you've given, thousands of hours you've given, and hundreds and thousands of invites to friends to meet Jesus. You guys have a genuine love that cares about people meeting him. And I think about uh, going after what is good, clinging to good and resisting evil. I think about the work you're doing right now in your groups meeting in our community that you are clinging to good community, encouraging community, having conversations in community, loving, caring, supporting through cancer, supporting through loss, you are doing so much for groups and you become um, man, the most connected thing in somebody's life in this season. And I'm grateful for you as a group. So I'm also grateful for the good that we do around the world in Kenya and how we're developing uh, communities and uh, what you sacrifice each month out of your paychecks to sponsor kids and to make sure uh, they're getting education and, um, and Jesus, your world vision, and our local sponsors on site. Um, in their communities there through education, medical, everything else. But I think about the good you're doing there and I think about the good you're doing locally. I think about how we resist evil, like poverty and fractions and things that don't matter as much as in our world. We resist Satan from getting in by worshiping and praying consistently and saying, God, lead us the way you want us to go. So we're fervent in spirit following Christ. We, we are hopeful that change can happen. You're the type of people that cry at baptism stories because you believe in hope and you are fervent in your spirit that the names on your list that you keep inviting to church, that keep telling you no, that one day they're gonna say yes and they will become a life change. That's who you are. You're that people. And as you seek to follow God and to serve God, you have sent thousands of our friends around the state of Pennsylvania to reach communities you will never go to. Like, you're an incredible church. You are, you are incredible people. and. And when I heard David talk about that this weekend, I thought about the rest of these verses and I thought, this is our church. This is what it means to be a true Christian. And I'm encouraged by you. And then the word that really stuck out to me at the very last word, they contribute to the needs of the saints and then seek to show hospitality. Because in my world right now, we've been getting ready for kids and students to come back all weekend. And we know that this weekend is gonna be a special, incredibly important moment for lots of kids who have fallen far away from Christ, and we get to invite them back to his generous love to build them back up in the faith. And we're going to reach some new families this weekend. We are. There's families that are ready to come back for the first time in our building. We're going to reach them with the love of Jesus in a safe manner and show them that they matter and he loves them.
And so parents, adults, I wanna challenge you this weekend too. Several of you will come back for the first time this weekend in our building. And I'm gonna challenge you to show an unusual amount of hospitality to each other. There could be lines. There could be people that think way differently, wear different t-shirts than you would sitting right next to you, but you're both with your hands raised, praising and worshiping God together and saying, we are part of a diverse family of people who all want to meet Jesus and grow up in him. And the true marks of a Christian family in a church is that we would show hospitality to one another. So I'm gonna challenge us. Give up your preferences for the sake of the person sitting next to you. That's what genuine love looks like. And LCBC, you are a genuine love church and I love that about you. Can't wait to see you. Love you guys.